Hey everyone, I'm back. As you can see, my car has a nice stance to it. I got a nice tire underneath it. That's a it's raining here in Florida. Well needed rain. Anyway, right there, that's a 28 by 11.5 15 tire, rim being the, the 15. And then of course, the measurement goes from this outer part of portion of the tire to the other side. That's the 11.5. This is a 10-inch tread face. Now, you see how much tire's up underneath there now. It's a lot. A lot of tire. Had to get massaged up underneath here that somebody else did, but works out nice. Tire fits. Looks good. I've always wanted to put really big tires up underneath it. I've seen a few Chevelles that are that way and that's typically what they look like from behind. A bunch of tire. Right there where the license plate would be you'd see a rear end cover. But this takes a lot of work. And I just bought this steel deck lid, which I want a steel deck lid. But by putting big fat tires underneath means all of that has to go. And you see where the location of that deck lid, deck lid hinge is. I would have to figure out something to be able to move that into the center. Of course, I can't move it on the deck lid itself. I'd have to fabricate something to be able to keep a steel factory style deck lid. I don't want a pin down. I don't, I don't want pins sticking up here, here, up through the, the lid. So anyway, I'd have to back half the car. Means all this comes out, the frame gets cut off, and a new section of frame that would run right through here and right through here put in. My rear end would have to be cut to accommodate the two big tires. You know, that's how big my rear end would be. What you see there. Of course, it goes goes in there a little bit, but wouldn't be much. So, I'd have to relocate shocks and all that. And that usually comes with the four link when you buy, buy that, the coil over springs, all that stuff. Again, a lot of work. And I'm cutting up my car. Not that, it, you know, hey, it's, it's, it's not a, an SS or anything. You know, it doesn't, it's not numbers matching. It's just a, a Malibu. So nothing is stock about it anymore anyway. So I'm asking your opinion. What do you think I should do? Should I leave it? Leave it the way it looks. You know, there's a lot of guys out there run eight on, uh, you know, 10 inch tires or even less. There's a guy who's got a record on nine inch tires, runs an 860. So give me your opinion. Leave it in the comments. Thanks.